Hello everybody, and how are you doing today? Oh, I'm so delighted to hear that. That's a wonderful response. And so are we, except today is not a particularly good day here in England. Today? Well, yesterday was good, almost, yeah. <laughs> and tomorrow will be better. Right now we have Oh, we have a sizzling 19 degrees here. I know a better, a better city. Where? Hey Siri, che tempo fa Cluj? In questo momento è sereno e la temperatura è di 29 gradi a distretto di Pluvi Romania. Oh, did you hear that? He asked it this. He asked his Dick Tracy watch what the temperature was in Cluj, in Italian. Now, Cluj is in, of course, Romania, but he asked it in Italian. Because and, my watch is from Italy, so... <laughs> he and, he, and he came back with the temperature. It is 29 degrees in Cluj at the moment, but it's going to be what later on? 30. Oi vey. <laughs> well, what do you know? They have good weather in Romania. And why are we concerned about Romania? Well, the clue was in that music that you heard just before we came on. Do you recognize the music? Anybody? Do you know what the title of that music is? One or two of you may have got it. It is, of course, Romanian Rhapsody Number no. 1. And do you know who wrote it? Queen. Who? Queen. <laughs> Our Queen? <laughs> no, Freddie Mercury. Oh, no. No, George Inescu. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> queen. <laughs> what a laugh that is. <laughs> well, yes. Okay, George Inescu, a.k.a. Queen, whatever you want to say. <laughs> anyway, but why is that important? Well, did you notice all of those views that we were showing you during the playing of that music, those were all airport sceneries for various parts of Romania. Now, why do you ask, are we having airport sceneries from Romania? Well, because we were contacted by a very remarkable and talented fellow named Tompa Sergiu. Now, here's a picture of him having fun in an Airbus A320 simulator in the city of Cluj. Now, Sergio is a sim enthusiast who designs and produces some very excellent freeware sceneries. Those sceneries that we showed you at the very beginning are his freeware sceneries. 
and among them were some real airport pictures. Were you able to spot the real ones from his own creations? Did you notice those? You might want to go back and have a look at them again. When he wrote, he said, All I did was out of a desire to fly in my country. So I learned to create scenarios and I wanted everyone who wanted to enjoy them to be able to do that without paying anything. So if you would like to download those free airport sceneries, the link is right down below in the description box. But you know, Sergio's talents didn't stop at creating sceneries. He actually said this, in real life, I'm a French horn player in an orchestra in the opera from Cluj-Napoca. And we checked that. We went out there and actually checked that. Here's a picture of Sergio, all done up in his uh, formal best with his bow tie on the opera website. And this is a picture of the opera house in Cluj. And this is a picture of the interior where he plays in this very fine orchestra. By the way, tonight I understand they're going to be playing uh, Cavaliere Rusticana. Is yes, that, that one, that one. Yeah, that one. So that's the opera that they're playing tonight and he will be there in his, with his French horn. So he's a very talented, very diverse young fellow, is Sergio. So when he wrote to us, he also said, Hello, you should try my freeware scenery, Oridea, in Romania, Transylvania. Oh, wow, wait a minute. Oridea? Oridea, yes. Does that I, sound familiar? I know, uh, I don't know why, but, but it's so familiar. <laughs> Maybe because I was ordinated in 2008 there. Ah, you became a priest, you were ordained a priest in the Diocese of Oridea. Yes. So Oridea is your home diocese? It's my home diocese, but not my home where I was born. Where were you born? I was born uh, in Satumare. And in, oh, wow. In Satumare? And did... Uh, yes, and did you Sergio, Sergio made even for Satumare, for Satumare a uh, scenery? So he's got Baku, Bacau, and he's got Oridea. Yes. He now has Satumare. Satumare. And we have even Bayamare, which is Bayamare. a city near of Satumare, like Oradea and others. And for his town, where he lives in Cluj Napoca, mm -hmm. for Suchava. Suchava as well. And from, for Baco, which is where we are uh, fly from. And that, of course, is also known as Georgianescu Airport. And is Georgianescu Airport. Wow. So, that's an awful lot. So, his hometown. His diocesan town is included in the sceneries. That's great. That is good news. Okay, so that is what we're going to do today. He's invited us to fly between two of those points, Bacau and uh, Oridea. Now, Bacau is L-R-B-C, that's the code, and Oridea is L-R-O-D. And we're going to go next into the pre-flight and have a look at how to build a route because we tried everything. We looked everywhere. There are no direct flights between those two points on the map. To go from Bacau to Oridea, you've got to go through Bucharest down here. So it's not very efficient at the moment, but we understand those are, there are plans to change that. In the meantime, we are going to have to make our own flight route and flight plan. So we're going to do a slightly different process today. Instead of going into Windy, then into Simbrief to make the flight plan, and then into Navigraph, Navigraph we're going to start with Navigraph and then make our flight plan in Navigraph, and then we'll go and have a look at Windy for the two cities, and then go into Simbrief, and actually copy and paste the route that we will have made. So, if you're ready for that, then join us in the pre-flight room. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. 
Come on then. This is Navigraph, and here you can see uh, Bacal over here. Here's Cluj Napoca in the center, and here's Oridea here. And way, way down here is Bucharest. So, this is the route that we were telling you. You'd have to go from there to there and then back up to there. Not exactly the most uh, economical of routes. And up here is Satumari. You, you recognize that, don't you? Yes, on the map. <laughs> on the map. <laughs> so there is, there's yours. That's, that's your hometown. And here is Oridea. This will be our destination today. And here's Bacau, which is where we're going to start. So here's how we go ahead and build a route. First of all, I'm going to change from world map to low on route. Now notice what it does here. There are no general airline routes like there are in a lot of the other countries surrounding it. Do you see all of these? But for some reason or other, they don't do that in Romania. So we're going to have to follow some different procedures. We're going to start out from here. We're going to go out to Dokud and then across to Atsos to rules down here to Oridea. So here's how we do that to build it up. We do new flight, manual input, and we're going to start out at LRBC. And we're going to go to LROD. What say that we put in the alternate? We can seven? utilize uh, my city yeah. airport, which is LRSM. LRSM, Sadomari. Okay, so we'll create that. Now, what we'll do here is I'm going to bring in the charts. I'm going to bring in these two because we will need them. But notice there are no SIDs. So nothing to worry about on that. Right, so now we've got the basic route between the two. And all it is, of course, is a dotted line. Now the first point that we need to put on, and I'm going to put the mouse over the top, and it's BCU. And here it pops up, and there's a little thing at the bottom that says add to route. So I'm going to add that to the route, and it comes up here, LRBC direct to Baku. The next I'm going to do is I'm going to put Dokud. And I'm going to add that to the route, insert after Baku, right. Now up here, I'm going to go to Atsos, and I'm going to put Atsos in there after Dokud. Next, I'm going to put rules and add that to the root after Atsos. And then I'm going to do Oradea itself, the NDB, add that to the root after rules. Now, if you notice here, there is, there's the M23423 at that point. So I'm going to go into the type root and we're going to do some little changes here. So between rules and Oradea is the M423, came right up between Atsos. Atsos and Rules is the Zulu 941. So we're going to put in Zulu 941. And now all of those waypoints have automatically been added. Down here, we're going to do a similar thing between Baku. Baku and Dokud, right. So we're going to go on this and T 
take off the direct and we're going to put in Zulu 650 and save that. Now I want you to notice that on our route we go just about right over the top of the Cluj-Napoca airport. So that is on our route. If we wanted to, we could actually click on that and add it, but there's not much point to it. I don't, oh, should we do it or should we not? We, it's an actual waypoint, we could add it. If you remain uh, like that, uh, you will maybe not see the, the city because you fly over. Okay, so we'll leave it as it is. All right, so there then is our route. As you can see, all the way built and going in for runway 19. Now, I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy that, save, and then we're going to go from here into Simbrief. Simbrief. Here we are in LRBC, which is back out and for the weather. We're looking at the weather here at the moment. And here you can see the back out airport right here. And the wind is blowing 160. From south. From the south. So we, looks like we are going to be going out here and going to the top and then taking off in this direction. Which is really good. Why is it really good? Why? Because Abaco, from the charts, we can see that they have some uh, reglementation with the taxiway that, I, that we don't can utilize it. Oh, that's right. We're only allowed to use this access to the runway and this access to the runway. This one is not permitted and do you remember why it wasn't? Because it's um, uh, Baku Airport uh, is even a military base. So that whole thing is covered with MiGs. MiGs and military helicopters, isn't it? Yeah. Well, oh, that's going to be interesting. That is interesting. All right, so here's the wind, 160, seven knots varying. Ceiling and visibility is okay and clear. Look at that. Temperature is 30 degrees. <sighs> And here we are with 19. Oh, well, no sense. And here's the runway. And we'll zoom in a little bit because I wanted you to see. You see these? These are military helicopters parked there. And then up here, see all of these? This is a whole row of MiG aircraft. Which MiG models are they? Do you MiG-21. MiG-21. Wow. Talk about um, holdover from the Cold War, eh? But anyway, that's all there. Right, having a look now at Windy and going into our destination. Here you can see the airport. The wind is going to be a slight crosswind landing, but it looks like we're going to be coming in on runway 19, which is the runway that uh, was requested by Sergio. Sergio. He wanted us to come in. He says, because the route that we're going to be coming in at is going to take us then right over the top of the city to bring us down into here. Oh, I can even salute my bishop, so. You can even salute your bishop. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, well, I'm not going to go down that road. <laughs> Wind is 260, nine knots, ceiling and visibility again unlimited, temperature 30. Five degrees, 35 degrees in Oradea. Oh my goodness me. And here's the runways looking at the, the satellite picture. So we'll be coming in then on this runway here. All right, going now into Simbrief. Let's build this. We are Ryanair. We are flight 186. We're departing from LRBC. We're going to go to L-R-O-D and our alternate is going to be L-R-S-M. S-M. And you have 
automatically the Timishara Airport put it. TM. All right. Where Ryanair is our airframe. And here's the profile, it's all built in. There's our registration. I think I told you before, you can, this is a real aircraft. All you have to do is look that up on something like Flight, Flight Radar 24, and it will show you that it's about 10 years old and it's still flying. It will give you a list of all the flights it's ever taken. Passengers, we are full today. Everybody wants to see you make the salute as we cross into Horidea. <laughs> and we've got one ton of fine champagne and caviar. Beluga, no less. Now, here's the... Oh, and look at that. Look at that. That's... Baku, there it is, Dokut Atsos, there's the Zulu, there's the, and there's our route. Look at that, all the way. Every one of the waypoints are in. We go right over the top of uh, Cluj Napoca, right here. And there we go, down there into our destination. And there, should anything go pear shaped, we get to land at your home airport. Yes. Okay, now we'll save this because that's what we, how we build a flight. Saved and generate the flight plan. Okay, there it is. You not, uh, you not wanted to see the in Simbrief the maps. Well, right here, let's have a look. We depart runway 16, we are arriving on runway 19er. There it is, there is our full flight route right there. How's that? Really nice. And how is the wind? Ah, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Right now we need to look at block fuel, which is that. Our reserves and trip and taxi are there, so the trip and taxi is not going to be so much since we don't need as much reserve, so we'll be a fairly light flight. Here's the average wind that we'll need. And right here, just so that you're able to see it, that F300, that is our flight level. Now I'm going to go down here all the way and have a look at the weather profile. It doesn't look like there's any significant weather at all. We <laughs> tread 34 uh, degree. <laughs> in other words, it's fairly clear and smooth over northern Romania. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Oh, but wait a minute. Here we go. This is our flight altitude. And we're going to be having headwinds. Look at that. 38 knots. Way. Yeah, all the way. And here's the cruise profile. So we start out from Baku, climb up. It's a short run across the top. It's not very far between top of climb and top of descent. Here's that sauce that we put in. There's rules that we put in. And there's the destination airport. Right. Well, we have our flight plan. We know what the winds are going to be. We know what the runways are going to be. So we'll go and have a quick addition here. And we're going to add, on the approaches, we're going to add ILS runway 19. And here's our approach. So looking at this, the localizer is 109.5. The final course approach is 187 degrees. The ILS decision height is 670. And the airport elevation is 468 feet. Transition altitude is 3000 feet. See right here. So we'll be coming across here 
and we'll be making our intercept to the final somewhere about here and then making our final run through Aura, which is the uh, main VOR just before the airport right here. This, in case we have a missed approach, is the route that we take. Now, there's the profile. So we will need to descend to 3,000 feet. There's the runway. And here it says the ILS decision height is going to be 670 on the Bar barometer clock. Right, we have that in place. So I'm going to switch now to world map. And there we have it. There's our entire route. Right, we are now set to go. And we're not that far up here to here's Satomari. Up here should we have to do a little run. I hope that we can call your mum from the cockpit and have her put the kettle on for a cup of tea. What do you think? For sure. For sure. Okay. Right, let's go into the cockpit and get ourselves ready. Hello, Sergio. Come on in. Take a seat. We're all set to go. And here we are. We're at Baku Airport. Look, it says over there, Georgianescu International Airport. It even has it written on all the stairs. And it's beautifully detailed. We are here at stand number three. Now, stand number five and six and one and two down there they are all occupied so we picked stand number three because that is where Ryanair can park and pick up our you know posh passengers how's that so if you're ready buckle up and we'll go through the procedure right going through battery on we have 25 volts, we've got enough to get the thing started. So now we turn on the fuel pumps to make sure we've got a fuel flow. Go down here and then turn on the APU. Now the APU, Sergi, is an engine that's in the tail of the aircraft. You'll probably have learned that while you were taking that simulator flight in that A320. That's exactly the same configuration they put the APUs in the back as well and we're watching for the engine gas temperature to rise and then it will drop and this light will come on and then we'll we'll switch from battery power which right now we're draining the battery and we'll switch then to the electricity coming from the generator in the APU we can also turn on the air conditioning because here what was the temperature? 30 degrees? 30 degrees. 30 degrees in Bacau. Wow. Lovely weather. Not exactly like England, eh? Ah, here we go. Now we look up here and we have 115 volts. So we have power now to do lots of things. So the first thing we'll do is we'll turn on the IRS up here to get our location put in and then we'll turn on the galley the galley that's the kitchen in the aeroplane to make sure that we can get brews coffee tea and all the rest emergency exit lights that's those strips of lights going down the center of the aeroplane in case <coughs> of uh, <coughs> emergency procedures which we of course never ever have because we are Ryanair we are perfect no smoking, fasten seat belts. Oh yes, we've got to have that. Then over here, we've got the left and the right window heat. That's these windows here. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the windows are quite clean. <laughs> they were just cleaned, <laughs> very clean. They're sparkling clean. They're absolutely transparent. You did a good job cleaning the Thank windows. Thank you very much. Yes. 
perfect job. And then the probes, some turn them on at the beginning, others recommend to turn them on later. I've got them on now just for the heck of it. And then we've got the hydraulic pumps on. These two lights, the forward service and the equipment. Forward service says that there's a door open and the equipment says the stairs are out. And these are the stairs being used right now for the, <clears throat> what my friend David called the self-loading cargo. You know what those are, right? <laughs> of course, passengers. And then over here, we turn on the APU bleed. We turn on the circulating fans, turn on the alt isolation valve, and then the left and the right air conditioning packs. And you heard that sudden rush of air that's coming in through the air conditioning nozzles. That's because of those two packs. Engines, as you learn, when you start engines, um, they have to be spun. And it's compressed air that actually gets them spinning. Right, we are looking good on the board, so let's have a, let's start and program the FMC. Oh, yes, thank you. Steady light on. Let's everybody know that we're messing about in here. Right, it says enter the IRS position. So we'll go to position initialization. Our airport is L R C B C. That's right, B C. And what we'll do now is we'll have a look at the charts to see what the coordinates for three through six. I don't know if it's going to have three. I'll put three in here. And oh, it does. Look at that. A perfect job for summary. You know what? That's wonderful. You know, some people do not put details like that in their sceneries. You did, Sergio. You, you really did a good job. So, yes, that matches exactly. 46.319 and 26.54.6. Perfect. So, we'll put that in. And now our location is it put in root so we are l r b c and we're going to go to l r o d we're ryanair 186 so that's r y r 186 go to next page and this is where we go and put in that root that we made in Navigraph before we started. So we go direct first of all to BCU, to Baku. So BCU first, BCU. And then we go on the Zulu 650. And we go on that one till we get to DOKUD. D O K U D. Then we're direct to ATSOS, A-T-S-O-S, -S, isn't it? S-O-S. -S. See, it comes up direct to ATSOS. And then we're on the Zulu 941. To get to rules. Which rules? <laughs> Flight rules. <laughs> our rules. Always our rules. <laughs> and then we're on the M423. M423 to go to our last point, which is Aura. O R A. And that is our flight plan. So we activate it and put it in there. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the departure. Can we listen to ATC? 
Well, there isn't an ATC for this airport, so we're just going to have to get our departure clearance and they will tell us which one we're going to use. Which direction are we going to go in? West. We're going to go west, young man. So, that's number six on this. Ryanair 186, ready to taxi west, departure. Ryanair 186, taxi to an old short of runway 16, contact tower on 118.6 when ready. Taxi, hold short, runway 16, Ryanair 186. Right, we're cleared to runway 16, so we'll put 16 in. And as you can see, there are no SIDs, so we just execute that. Departure and arrivals, we're going to go into ILS 19, and we're going to put that in. Now we'll go and check the legs and make sure that everything looks good. Okay, stepping through, there's the route. So far, so good. There's rules. Ah, now. Rules CF-19. So rules goes so directly to CF-19. CF-19 go not to Aura, but to rules. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then put that in. Now we have a nice smooth run coming straight in for a final on runway 19er. Okay, that is it. So setting weather and you're setting good. Right, now that we've got that, we'll go to legs to fix and we'll put in LROD. And we want four miles 10 miles and 30 miles then we'll go to descent go to the forecast and we'll put the information in for these three elevations and we'll have a look here for the meteorological information it is 1015 Q and H, and now we'll get the information for our descent winds. At 200, it is 302.18. At flight level 150, it is 318.14. And at flight level 100, it is 292.5, 292.5, and execute that. Go back to root, now we can go to the perform initialization. Our fuel, now this is quite, this doesn't happen very often, but Doing the additions on this, we have reserves of 2,383, the trip and tax is 2,617, it's exactly 5,000. So it's very easy to work out that 5 is what we put in there. Reserves 2.4 because we rounded up to the nearest, so it's 2.4. Double click on the zero fuel weight and that will give us the calculation from the computer. Uh, that's the onboard flight computer by the way. And we're putting in the cost index of six. We're going to be flying at 300, flight level 300. Cruise wind is 302.14. The transition altitude is 3,000 feet. Tango, Tango, November, Sierra, clear, touch and go left, traffic, runway 3, 4. Now we go to N1 limit. Oh, it's actually 31 degrees here now. Wow, it's gone up. We'll be departing, what's the length of the runway here? Flaps 10. It's 8,202. We'll go flaps 10, yes. 
and we'll double click on that and then that gives us our basic information so we need 160 on the course and 144 on that we're going to go to 30,000 feet and the elevation at our destination is 450 good we've got that now let's just check our flight plan see if it's good one two we're good and then VOR1, VOR1, and that will then be 109.5. And the Aura NDB is 418, so we'll put 418 in here. And make that active. Good. We're all set. All right. And our decision height is going to be 670. So I'll put that in, 670. So we're set on that. Local barometer is 1016. Okay. How are we looking? Good. Got everything checked? Yes. All right. All of our passengers are on board, so bring up the stairs. And let's close the door. Oh, we can hear the stairs coming up. So we have this before start procedure. We have the silver sign is on. Is on. Fuel is five ton on board. Is correct. The takeoff thrust we have put it there. We have checked. The takeoff speeds V1, V R, and V2. We have is just correct. On. Taxi and takeoff briefing completed, and anti-collision light now is on. Is on. Now we're going to need to go up there to get onto runway 16. So nose to the left, correct? Correct. So we'll do that. We'll turn 90 degrees, make it easy for ourselves. Select the tug and go ahead. Go ahead. We've been cleared for push and start, tail to the right. Copy that, ready for push tail right. Police break, break, please. Parking brake is off. Now we're going to start with engine number one today. So I clearly should generate a one on here. Air conditioning is off. Brakes released, here we go. We have only and we're starting up. Engine number one. The start valve has opened. We're spinning. And here the N2 is building up. 18, 19, 20. As soon as it gets to 24, I'm going to introduce the fuel. There it is. And we'll listen for the burn. Are we making a turn? Oh, there's a Wizz Air over there and, and Blue Air, Blue Air which over is there. the sister company of the Romanian flag company, which is the Teron. Oh, right. Wow. And you know, they have now... There's the engine. And they have what? They have now three or four new 737 Max, Max 8. Wow. Bite. That's... They're moving right along. Okay, and starting engine number two, we have 150 volts here coming from one. That tells us we have a, a good start. Parking brake is on. Brake set. 
and here we're looking for 24 coming up and we'll introduce the fuel thank you and now the ground crew is clearing the area we're going to look for 115 volts up here from engine number two and we're getting a good burn yes we're getting a good start the oil pressure light has gone out so we're fine on that and we have ignition on engine number two and 115 volts up here okay now the next thing we're going to do is we've been using the generator coming from the APU so now we're going to switch to the generators coming from left engine and right engine and I just push those two down there now we're running from the main engines air conditioning on please and the, the APU bleed off and we'll turn the APU off so we're now running completely on the power from the engines so after start checklist we have the generators you put it on the NTIs as required it is not no. needed I don't think not today now we're fine engine start lever idle detent idle detent flight the door close and lock it is all checked and 145 for that we are set Right, before taxi checklist is complete, okay? Alright. And recall is checked. Alright, we'll turn on the position light to steady and strobe. And we're ready now to turn on the taxi lights. Attendance, we're going to move to the active, which is just there, not far at all. Break off and give a little power to get ourselves unstuck. By the way, frame rate 49, and I have it maxed, I have it set to not go beyond 50 so that this. Uh, will pick up on the cameras so we got 49.9 on the frame rate that's with this wonderful scenery so tuning now to tower To request takeoff clearance. Back home tower, runway 186 at runway 16, ready for takeoff, departure to the west. Ryanair 186, cleared for takeoff, runway 16, departure to the west, approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 16, Ryanair 186. We are cleared for takeoff, so I'm now going to move into position and I'm going to ask. Our first officer, if he would be so kind as to uh, take some pictures of the MiGs as we go flying by. And we have an aircraft directly ahead of us there. I don't know what he's doing, but we'll have to watch out for it. We are flaps 10, RTO, everything is set. I'm going to line up on the on the runway. Ah, we've even got a bit of a moon coming up. Look at that. Right, and starting the clock, advancing the power to N1. We have good power, and toga button is pushed. We are rolling. Rotate. V1, rotate. V1, rotate. V2. V2. Here we go. 
off. Attendance, release to work. And go to flaps five. Go to 187 on the course.
enjoyed you? Glad that you're back. Did you enjoy the little bit of Now, I hope you saw us when we went over the top of Cluj. We waved like crazy to let you know. But anyway, right now we are just coming up on the two large reservoirs that provide drinking water for Oridea. We are 23 nautical miles from the airport and we are on our descent. We are 8,400 feet and descending. We have the principal lights on, engine start switches are on, seatbelt sign is on. So we're in the process of coming in to land. We have been given clearance to land on runway 19 at Oradea. So we're on track to make a little run over the city. We're going to try to get some video as we do that and let's see what we get, okay? So take your seat, buckle up again, and um, I hope that that champagne glass that you're holding is not a real glass one because we may get a few bumps, you never know. Yeah. Coming up on 9 
we need the alpha. Let's see what she gives us. Alrighty, Brown. Ryanair 186, taxi to the gate. Ryanair 186, taxi to gate. Line up via taxiway. Right, taxiway. So, alpha. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's suggesting nine, which is the Bravo one. One eight six. Did you hear my last transmission? Zero to Alpha. Taxi to gate minor using taxi one nine one eight six. Wants us to go to Nina, which is this one, and that terminal building. Is that the new one? No, the new one is that one. The one over there. Yeah. We'll go to the new one. We'll ignore him. All right. We'll go to the new one. Six. Yes. Because they have general aviations. Yeah. Airplanes. And you have to make the turn. Yeah. 360. Oh. Yeah, we do. Okay, so here we are. And Passengers are rushing to get off. I wonder why they're rushing. Maybe it's because it's that new terminal building that they've got. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I wonder why they've got small aircraft parked out here when they've got a brand new terminal building. Hmm. Oh well. So let's go ahead and finish shutdown. Turning off, 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 off. Uh, that off, that off, galley off, and TCAS is off, right, fuel is off, that's off, and battery off, shutdown is complete. We're here at Oradea, well, we made it, what do you think of that? And he thought that I wasn't going to be able to land. He thought I was too high. But we made it. We did a nice approach and landing right on top of all the other skid marks. It's a shorter runway. It's only 6,800 feet long is the runway. We were given clearance to go to, uh, to number nine, which is in the terminal two area. And you said that is the old one, right? It's the old one, yeah. So we decided to ignore him and go to Terminal 1 and park at Stand 6. Because after all, we are Ryanair. We can do anything that we want. Resistance is futile. Ha! You will be assimilated. That's the line. Right. We've made it. Good. Well, Sergio... I have to tell you this, the airport scenery is absolutely spot on. The detail is incredible. And the grass, you made that fix for the grass for Oradea. Look at this. This is, that grass is just phenomenal. And have you noticed one interesting thing? What's that? In Baco or even here in Oradea, what you not see because you are not present no clouds no <laughs> what in all your airport you have problem with those oh with the kamikazes yeah. yes 
Oh, yes, no kamikazes. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's always the plus. No kamikaze vehicles using me for target practice. Yes, but the detail. I, Sergey, you did, you did magnificent. I mean, the detail here is just, just grand. It really is. So we're at the new terminal building. This is the new one, yes? Here's the new one. So we're at the new terminal building, and I am very impressed. And for everybody else watching, the download link is below me in the description box. Be sure to go ahead and download all of the sceneries that he's got there. Well worth it. And Sergey, I know you've made what? four, five, five or six now for Romania. I hope that you get some time to make some more because I think we would like to discover more of your lovely country. So, from me in English, see you later and from... And from me in Romanian, la revedere. Bye.